Hey y'all, welcome back. It's MJ here at Just Plain Fun. And as you can tell from reading your context clues, this video is going to be all about lever caps. And more specifically, I'm going to give y'all a quiz. This is going to be the basic quiz, and this video will be followed up in a day or two with a more advanced quiz. But let's see how you do on the basic one first. So we've got 30 lever caps here, and your job, your mission is to try to guess or just know and annotate what each cap is. You don't have to write it down. Just, you know, have a piece of scratch paper and a pen or pencil and just give yourself one point for each correct answer that you get. And let's see how many you get out of 30. And then I want you to post your score either on Facebook at the Just Plain Fun, the Parts Division Facebook group, or on YouTube or on both. Let's see. Uh, let's see how you did. So again, this is going to be the basic test. And then there will be a more advanced one for the more long in the tooth collectors that have been at it for a little while. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start all the way at the beginning. You got the number four etch there. This is a two inch cap, solid on the back. And the Bailey style lever there. So what do you think? All right, if you said this is a type two Stanley lever cap from you know the Bailey pattern, standard Stanley Bailey bench plane, then you got that one correct. So give yourself one point for that one. This one, eh, maybe a little bit of a freebie. A, uh, I'll let you read it. So if you said this is a Corsair by Great Neck, then give yourself one point. This one is obviously an inch and three quarters, solid on the front. What do you think? If you said that this is a Marsh, then you are correct for a Marsh number three size plane. Next, we have another one with a little etching on the back. This is two and a quarter, solid on the front. And as you might have guessed, this is two and a quarter inches wide. If you said for a Stanley number five and a half, type nine, 10, 11, anywhere in there, if you said any of those, give yourself one point. This one is from a number six or number seven size. So it's two and three eighths inches wide. Show you both sides there. And yes, I almost gave away the answer at the beginning. I don't know what I was thinking. But what do you think? If you said a Bailey Victor number six or number seven, then you got that one right. It's a little bit different here. Show you the mechanism for how that attaches. So what do you think? If you said Bailey Tool Company, then you got this one correct. And here's another example after they started putting the Bailey Tool Company in big bold letters on the front. But if I had shown you the first one, it would have been too easy. All right, how about this little guy? I'll give you a hint. It's an auto set. So if you said Stanley auto set or Stanley gauge auto set, either one of those, but really you probably should have gauge in there somewhere then give yourself one point. It's probably another freebie right here, hopefully. So it is a Stanley, it's a kidney hole, no patent on the back. It is two inches wide. So if you said Stanley, number four, number five, you don't have to specify, but if you said Stanley kidney, any of that, then you get one point. So that is aluminum, I believe. Obviously a block plane cap. So if you said a Stanley number 118, the all steel, supposedly indestructible block plane, then you got that one right. I love this little guy. Hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory, but we're looking for what kind of plane it goes on. So if you said Bailey Victor block plane, then you are correct, because that goes to a block plane. How about this little guy? If you said the ugliest, worth most worthless plane in existence, then you get one point. But also if you said Pexto or Parplus, or however that's pronounced, Parplus, then you get one point for that one. How about this little guy with the C on the back? 
is the same width as a number three. Or if you said Stanley compass plane or radius plane or circular plane or number 113 Stanley, all of those would be acceptable answers and you can give yourself one point. For the advanced test, it'll be, you know, we're going to be looking for type on that. So if you want to get one extra point during the advanced test, you can go ahead and look that up. How about this one? All right. Also a number 113 Stanley. So a circular plane or, or a compass plane, but from an earlier one. All right, if you said Shelton, if you said Shelton wannabe auto set plane and another one that's fairly useless, then go ahead and give yourself one point on that one. This one might be a little tougher here because most of y'all, many of y'all, maybe not most, many of y'all probably haven't seen this one. That is from the Standard Rule Company. And I've shown that plane, I think, in another video. So if you saw it and you remembered it, you'd probably be in good shape. Uh, there's some discussion out there about if this would fit a Union X plane, but my understanding is the Union X has a stop right there to keep it from advancing too far. But I don't know. I got to do some more checking on that, but this is from the Standard Rule Company. Hopefully this is another freebie. Be a little bit more challenging on the advanced test, but that is a two inch cap and some Miller's Falls. So if you said Miller's Falls number nine or number 14, then you got that one right. And about that little guy, it's another two inch cap. And if you said transitional plane, you're on the right track. You can get a half a point for a transitional plane, but we're looking for specifically a sergeant transitional on that one. Another two inch cap, another black cap. So if you said Stanley transitional, then you get one point for that. If you said just transitional again, then no points because the first, the Sergeant one should have been a solid clue for you. That's one that maybe not as many people have seen. Obviously the sweetheart logo there the sweetheart design so if you said type 12 specifically a type 12 stanley bailey lever cap and a limited run on these not all type 12s are going to have that logo on the back not too many block planes represented here but we've got another one and this one is coming in at about an inch and three eighths so if you said Stanley number 60 and a half, then give yourself one point. If you said Stanley number 60, that's a no-go. If you said any other block plane, such as a 220 or a 110 or anything like that, that's a no-go. So looking for a number 60 and a half on that low angle block plane. All right, this one's a twofer. Give you lots of context clues on this one. If you said Lee Nielsen or Lie, Lie Nielsen, Lee Nielsen, however you pronounce it, then give yourself one point for that. If you said anything else, then take five points off your score. Like if you said Veritas, I mean, seriously, set your score back to zero. Uh, this one right here, coming in at an inch and five eighths. So if you said a Stanley Black Plane 220, 110, nine and a quarter, nine and a half, if you said any of those. Or if you just said Stanley Block Plane, you can go ahead and give yourself one point for that. Very unique lever cap right there. If you own one of these, you'll know it on site. The plane or the lever cap, either one, most likely the plane. Then you'll know it on site if you don't, you know, and you've never seen it. Hey, you know, we won't hold that against you. But that is for a Stanley number 140. A skewed block plane. And another specialty plane here. This one is coming in at an inch and a half. Most of you probably know it because you've probably run into one of these incomplete 
at your favorite hand plane hunting ground. That is a Stanley number 78. So if you said Stanley number 78, or if you said the generic rabbit plane, then we will we will accept that. The judges will accept your answer. So you can give yourself one point. Now the freebie, the Lord's Master. Give yourself one point on that. And for the advanced test, there are no at least one company that made Lord's Masters. Now the two-inch cap here, another keyhole, obviously a union. So if you said a union number four or number five size, or if you just said union, you can go ahead and give yourself one point for that. All right, coming down the home stretch here, a little quiz going on. That is a red background there. If you've watched my videos, you've probably seen me talk about this before. So with the red background keyhole, if you said Stanley S4 or S5, you're looking for specifically the S series on that because of the red background. So those steel bodied S4, S5. This is a little unusual, a little more unusual, maybe less often seen. Now we know it's from a number four. That is from a Siegley. So if you said Siegley number four or just Siegley, then Siegley bench plane, then uh, give yourself one point for that. And here we go with the kidney hole with the yellow background. So obviously a Stanley. And this one's coming in at two and three eighths, by the way. So number six, number seven, number four and a half size, later number five and a half. So if you said Stanley, we'll give you credit for that. But we're looking for uh, type 20 or even beyond. So the Cordovan period, those maroon bodied ones also had the same yellow background on them and then arguably one of the best for last maybe not the best because it's not a bailey victor but uh pretty self-explanatory bedrock this was coming in about two and five eighths so and that should be a good clue for you so if you said bedrock number 608 on that then you can go ahead and give yourself one point all right, so hopefully for you long, longer time collectors, that was a fun little exercise. And you probably knew most, maybe you knew all of them. So if that's the case, congrats. For the beginners out there, you probably didn't even know that there were that many different planes out there or that many different manufacturers. So that will hopefully further your knowledge. And uh, a lot of times when you see planes out in the wild, unfortunately, it's pretty often that they don't actually have the correct lever cap. But if the lever cap is correct, that's usually a good indicator of what style of plane it is. So hopefully that will help further your knowledge and help you be able to identify planes better, assuming that the lever cap is correct, which is not, a, you know, frequently is not. So this is also a primer for the advanced test, and I hope to get that recorded within the next day or two. Oh, Will Walker has been helping me out with filling in some gaps on some, some things because I want to make it challenging for y'all. And of course, also further my own knowledge base. So look for that within the next day or two. And remember, post your score either on the Facebook group or here on YouTube. But most of all, I appreciate y'all watching.